Nearly 12% of us in Bear County have one huge thing in common. It has to do with, well, it's not race, it's not money, it's not neighborhood, it's diabetes. And as a result, in most cases, we share a distinct dislike as well for needles. If you're in that category, we might have a job for you, helping to get rid of insulin needles. Nurse Mary Lou Hernandez is one of nearly two million Texans living with diabetes. She's had it for eight years. I've learned to really deal with it and cope with it, especially with the injections. But it's not easy, especially with kids. Interruption of life, you have to stop what you're doing and do the injections. Ever since insulin was first discovered in the early 1900s, people have been trying to find an easy way to deliver it. They got it down to a science with this pen. Just jab it in your stomach for type 1 diabetes maybe five times a day. Now Dr. Douglas Denham at Clinical Trials of Texas is testing a new pill. It would turn insulin shots into an oral medication. Many have tried, many have failed. This one shows promise. To take something orally, it has to go through the GI system. So it has to go down into the stomach, a very acidic environment. Proteins don't like acid, it destroys them. So you have, this one had to be coated and protected so it could get through into the duodenum, then where it can dissolve and release itself and get absorbed into the bloodstream. A nightly pill instead of constant needles. That's what CTT is testing, trying to see if it works and whether people will take it. The biggest problem with oral medications is compliance, making sure they take the medication. This study is looking at once at nighttime dosing. Pretty easy to do. Think about it, once a night, wow. Some are calling the search for a good daily insulin pill the holy grail of diabetes. Well, nearly every pharmaceutical company is searching for that right formula. If you want to be in this San Antonio study, we have the enrollment information on ksat.com.